Welcome back trainers. So we are going to be doing another Machamp raid with Lugia, Mewtwo, and Ho-Oh, level 40s, and we're going to be dodging the charge attack. Now, Lugia takes two charge hits. They are close combat, and Mewtwo takes one, and Ho-Oh takes one. Other than that, I dodged the rest. I would have done it over and over again, but I just wish you can skip that time in the beginning. And I was also getting a bit of lag, so I was just like, you know what? This is conclusive. We'll take this data and move on. Now, I know uh, Lugia has two times resistance against a fighting type, so it gives it a little bit of a, a little bit more of an advantage uh, compared to Mewtwo and Ho-Oh. But with that said, it's still a decent uh, test here, so I hope you enjoy it. Had a lot of fun with it, so I think I'm going to be doing more of these in the future. Possibly a Lugia and Ho-Oh team against a Machamp. We'll just have to see. I'm not going to be dodging all the quick moves, just the first ones and then a few others. And then Ho-Oh and Mewtwo are going to take out Machamp. Just the two of them. Pretty awesome stuff. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so here are my final thoughts. If you want something to just do as much damage as possible, Mewtwo is option number one. If you want something that can do as much damage and withstand as much hits as possible, Ho-Oh is option number two. And then number three is gonna be Lugia. All around, decent Pokemon. Now here are the IVs as requested. No, Lugia does not have the best IVs around, but it's still doing okay. Alrighty, so with that said, we're going to jump into this Machamp raid and watch Mewtwo and Ho-Oh take out Machamp by themselves. Let's check it out.
Okay, and really quick, I just want to discuss something. Uh, why not use Sky Attack? Well, because it has two charge bars, right? The other two, Ho-Oh and Mewtwo, for their moves, they do not have two, they have one, and I wanted it to be kind of, you know, even there. Just, yeah, and I know you could say, well, he resists fighting type times two. It's not really even, but yeah, I understand. But this is a test people wanted to see, so I'm giving it to them. Um, so let's see here. We have 28 DPS. All right. That's extrasensory and future sight. Now let's go ahead and look over Mewtwo with confusion and psychic. <laughs> 38 DPS, basically 39 DPS and per second. And then we have Ho over here with 28 as well, just about 29 extra sense, extra sensory and brave bird. Now I will be doing more of these tests to see if I can possibly, I don't want to say if I could beat a Mewtwo or a um, Machamp with solely a Lugia, but maybe a Ho-Oh and then Lugia team to take out a Machamp because I was pretty impressed that they that, that a Mewtwo and a Ho-Oh could take out a Machamp solely by themselves with dodging. Um, so it did have Bullet Punch and Close Combat, which is probably one of the best sets to do some sort of a test because, um, well, Bullet Punch is not doing that much damage, and then Dynamic Punch, or Close Combat, sorry, is only one charge, so it's pretty nice. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, cool. All right, so with that said, uh, yes, I, I will be trying out more combos and things like that and see what I can do, um, but uh, they all hold their own special place. Lugia can take hits and dish out damage, can he dish out the most damage? No, he's dishing out the little, the smallest amount. Um, so the number one spot with, for damage is going to be Mewtwo. Number two is going to be Ho-Oh. And then three, Lugia. All right. This is not a glass cannon. Mewtwo is not a glass cannon. He's, his defense is just on the lower end. He can still take hits. This is a raid boss, keep in mind, okay? So when they hit you, they hurt. And he doesn't resist. Oh, he, he resists fighting, but... Um, they all resist the fighting, and he, in fact, resisted the bullet punch, so that could have helped him in his favor. Then again, Lugia was resisting both the fighting moves in the last video, so that worked to his advantage. So the only thing, the only Pokemon who hasn't gotten a complete advantage here is Mewtwo, even taking one close combat. So if he didn't, if I would have dodged every single one, he would have lost it obviously longer and put out more damage, but that's okay because uh, they all took a hit. And uh, like I said, it was kind of giving me a little bit of lag problems, so I wasn't trying to, I didn't want to keep going back in and back out and, and all that stuff. So look forward to more tests and more raid boss coming soon. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you all later.